Namaste everyone and welcome to N5D's Afterthoughts on Patreon. My name is Greg Prescott. I'm the owner of N5D.com as well as Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit.com. And these are my afterthoughts on my latest video, uh, my latest N5D Facebook Live video. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is well, the video was entitled Sealed Indictments Now Unsealed, QAnon Update Waves of Energy. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is answer some of the questions I wasn't able to see or answer during that video. Okay, so the first one comes from Q Lady Patty Sherbin, and she's saying thoughts on the grid, which is a great question. You know what we're doing right now everyone is exactly where they need to be on the grid right now and the grid is electric the way I kind of describe it is to imagine that you know there's each awakened person is holding a candle right so we have all these candles all over the world that are lit up and these are points of connection because we're all connected we are all one and that's what really fires up the grid. So everybody is exactly where they need to be right now. Even though you might not be in the most ideal town or city, please keep in mind that you're holding that light. You're anchoring the, the energies for us all to be connected. So much love and gratitude for what you're doing, for being exactly where you are. Another cool thing is, you know, I. I get contacted from my guides, creator, source, um, and I get messages. And this is one I haven't told you guys, but where I live, I live on Siesta Key, and right off the coast where I live is a major stargate. I believe it's called Stargate Number Two. It's an Atlantis stargate. And I was told my, by my my guides that you are once I, I moved here and I moved here in, at the end of July but I was told by my guides you are exactly where you need to be on the grid exactly so what's kind of funny too is um, there's a gate right in front of my door and I'm the only house that's basically outside the gate and I have a passcode and I can go back and forth, but I'm basically the gatekeeper <laughs> for the Sarasota Stargate. And, you know, I'll go outside, like I've mentioned in a, a previous video, a uh, behind the scenes video, my first one, um, that a lot of people um, come and go from Siesta Key. And what I'm doing is I'm, as they're coming and going, even when I'm on the beach, we're exchanging codes with everyone and each other. So it's really important that, you know, to get out and, and gather the codes and exchange the codes and share your codes with one another just by being in that person's auric energy field will exchange those codes. Um, a simple interaction at a grocery store with a cashier will do the same thing and everybody that you come in contact with. So the next question uh, is from Candice, I can't pronounce her last name, Sue Shift, and she's asking, any knowledge of involvement of other beings or planets coming in? Well, any knowledge <laughs> or involvement of other beings? We're already here, if that's what you're asking, um, many of us are not from here and we're getting we're bringing in a lot of our galactic neighbors and friends for assistance you know as James Gilliland would say the Anunnaki are coming back to fix what they messed up and I'm sure that there's other galactic beings and groups of beings that are helping as well like the Pleiadians the Arcturians and so on and so forth about planets coming in if you're referring to planet X that's not gonna happen maybe that did happen on a previous timeline but it's not gonna happen now uh, you know we are seeing dramatic climate changes 
on all the planets throughout our solar system, but that's not because of planet X. That's because of what's happening with this new energy field that we're heading into and that we're picking up. It's part of the wave and it's also part of, you know, what the wave is in conjunction with us going through the photon bell. So we're picking up photons uh, and, and additional en energies from the galactic center and from our sun. But it's not a planet X thing. So moving on, we have a question from... Why do I get these hard names to pronounce? <laughs> H-U-O-N-G. I'm going to give it a shot. Huang. And N-G-U-Y-E-N. Huang Gaian. Let's go with that. Okay. Huang Gaian says, Greg, do you feel the power is going to go out soon? Are we going to, is the grid going to go down or, you know, no, no, I don't, I'm not feeling that. Um, it's possible that there could be a bank run, you know, as what, you know, was kind of suggested by QAnon. He didn't say a bank run, but he said that he kind of hinted that the internet might go down. And in the case, in the event that the internet goes down, people might panic and do a bank run. I don't see that happening, but you better it's better to be safe than sorry. I don't see the grid going down completely. But it, it doesn't hurt to prep a little. I wouldn't go overboard. I you know I, I did that a couple years ago and I ended up throwing away a bunch of supplies that I never used. So um, no, I don't feel the power is going to go out soon. But to answer your question, Huang Gwyn. Carolyn Murphy had a question. I want to know when Nasara slash uh, Nasara slash Jisara will be implemented. I really hate to be the bearer of bad tidings. Um, Nasara slash Jisara is hot air and bullshit. It's been around since the 1990s, and they continuously give you hope pump you up um, and it's I remember reading these um, God I think it was poof or something like somebody like that and they'd talk about these packets that are supposed to be delivered and you know that was going to ensure that Nasara would come to fruition but there'd always be some kind of delay something would come in the way of the packets not being delivered and you know after several years of following that I said you know what not buying it and I did a little research on it and to me it's all a psyop I really hope I'm wrong <laughs> but to answer your question I want to know when Nasara slash Jasara will be implemented never unfortunately but hopefully that wave comes in and there will be no need for money okay and here we have one the final question that I missed is from Brian Hartstein, and he's saying, any updates on the waves? Well, you know, I've been listening to, uh, I follow a lot of different YouTube channels, and I, I check out the web all the time. I'm constantly surfing and looking for new information. Um, but the best information I get is from my higher self and from Creator Source. And the only thing I can tell you is th there's nothing new specifically but if you're paying attention to what's going on around you you're seeing that a lot of people are going through these ascension symptoms as what Rosie Neal was talking about about in her um, spring 2018 uh, new ascension symptoms and I covered that on my last in 5d Facebook live so what we're seeing though are new symptoms that are cropping up and is this part of the DNA upgrade? Is this part of the cleansing of our systems? Could well be. Could well be. And, you know, and that's another thing that I wanted to talk about on this podcast because there's something that I brought up. I haven't heard anyone talk about it beforehand and I mentioned that on the N5D Facebook Live that I mentioned that I have this clear liquid that drains from both ears 
And you know, that's, that's why I've got Q-tips on my table. I've got Q-tips by my bed. Well, I'll end up doing, this might be gross, but just to show you, I have these uh, tissues right here. So I just, you know, kind of stick my finger in the ear and I can hear this like sucking, squishy kind of sound in there. But I don't know if you can see it, but it's wet right there. And that's what it looks like. And, you know, I get the same thing on both ears. Usually that ear is a little worse, but it doesn't seem too bad today. And this is, I'm sorry to gross you guys out. <laughs> but, and here it is for the other one. And that's, you know, it's just a clear liquid. It's nothing, it's not like it's earwax or anything like that. But that's been happening to me for about, I'm guessing, six months or so and I have one of those you know they're, they're, they're like horseshoe uh, shaped travel pillows and you know I'll put my head in the center of that at night and sleep on that because when I sleep up against a pillow like I said I hear this squishing sound so I mentioned that on the N5D Facebook live that I, I did recently and to my surprise so many other people commented yes the same things happening to me you know as, as gross as something that like that is it's still important to put it out there because this is why I encourage people to you know journalize everything because you never know what's going on and when you find out that there's so many other people that are that are going through the same thing as you are it makes you wonder okay why and how is this happening so and this is why I'm doing the afterthoughts. Excuse me. <clears throat> so, on Facebook, after I got done with the afterthoughts, immediately afterwards, I got contacted by a, an author. Her name is Celia Fenn. And I have um, several of her articles here on N5D. And I, I have to read this to you because this is the first that anyone's hearing about this. And I will eventually make this into an article. Uh, with what she told me about what's going on with the ears. So this is what she told me. She said, hi, Greg, I was just listening to your live transmission.